Good morning, students. Let's take a look at our spelling for today. Take a look at our title. It's Write It Right 3. And if you look at the worksheet in general, it kind of looks like one we did yesterday and the one we did the day before. So um, I've done the first one for you here, just like I did um, yesterday and the day before. But this is just going to be the same thing that you've already done, still looking at homophones and deciding which is the correct homophone for the sentence. So I'll go ahead and read all of these for you and we'll talk about the first one. So if you take a look at the first one, we have the word air and air. Remember, if you look at one of the words and you know how to say one, but you don't know how to say the other, technically you do know how to say the other because they're homophones. So they're pronounced exactly the same. So if you looked at this and you're like, hmm, here? Nope, it goes right next to air. So you're gonna pronounce them exactly the same way. Would you say that this is an expected spelling pattern for the word air? Hopefully you said no, definitely not. We usually pronounce the H sound in all of the words that we read. Um, so that would be an unexpected spelling pattern that for some reason with this word we say air. All right, let's take a look. So the balloon is floating in the air. You probably knew this word and probably knew quite easily that it goes here. The prince is the heir to the throne. That just means the prince gets the throne eventually. Typically when the king passes away, it will be one of his sons will become the heir to the throne, right? They will get the throne. They'll be the person that gets to be the next king. Let's take a look at the next one. The dog followed the scent of the cat. I sent my cousin a fun birthday gift. Think about these. One of these means that you sent something in the mail. You wanted something delivered to somebody, right? And the other one is a synonym for odor or smell. Next one, towed. The car was towed to the garage for repairs. A toad is similar to a frog. Here you have kind of the definition for one of them. The other one means that the car basically was taken to the garage, usually by a tow truck, by another car is pulled. It is not capable of working. Here, I can't find a matching pair of socks. Kenny ate a pair as a snack. One of these means a food. One of these means uh, usually two items together. So socks come in a pair. We call pants a pair. I'm really, uh, technically it doesn't come with two different genes, right? It just means that there are two legs on it. So that would be an example of another pair of socks, shoes, a pair of jeans. Next one here is stationary. Pearl wrote me a letter on her new stationary. The car remains stationary at the red light. So one of these words means um, like a bunch of different cool paper that all goes together. And the other stationary means uh, not moving. The last one, we have berries. The squirrel buries its nuts, and we pick delicious berries from the farm. So one is a food, and the other one means digging. Synonym for digging. All right, see if you can do this on your own. Have a great rest of your day.